Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Unreal Engine crash error with the game. Now, the first step is to start anti-cheat expert service. Now for this, type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now over here, you can see anti-cheat expert service. Make a double click. Set the startup type to automatic or you can set it to manual and then click on apply and then click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Now you can launch the game and then check. Still you are facing the problem. The next step is to run the game from the game, from the game installation folder. Now for this, you can go to library and then make click on this three dots on the game title and then go to manage and then click on this folder icon. This will take you to the game installation folder. Now open this game folder and then select the game exe file and then you can just open it. So just make a double click on this and then launch the game from the game installation folder. If that does not work, make a right click, select properties and then go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Hit apply, click on OK. Make a double click, launch the game. If that does not work, go to properties once again this time put a check over here and select windows 8 hit apply click on ok make a double click and launch the game still not working this time select windows 7 from the list and then hit apply click on ok and then launch the game still not working again go to properties and this time put a check on the box which says disable full screen optimization and then apply ok and then make a double click launch the game now still not working so when you put a check on all these boxes still you're facing the problem then you can uncheck these boxes and follow the next step now the next step is to now for windows security if you're using windows security allow the game exe file to your windows security now if you're using any third party antivirus make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program for windows security users you can go to settings and then go to privacy and security if you have windows 11 and then click on windows security if you have windows 10 you will have an option update in security then click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection now scroll down and then click on manage ransomware protection now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so if the game installed in c drive open c drive then open program files now open epic games epic games folder and then open the game folder and then open this game folder select the game exe file now click on open now type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel go to system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings in the top click on allow another app and then click on browse and then go to the game installation folder select the game exe file and then click on open and once the game is added now click on add once the game is added in my case the game is already added so once the game is added to the firewall now you can launch the game and then check so in my case yeah the game is already added and now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to update windows to the latest version now for this open windows settings go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed now restart you can be run. and after the system restart you can launch the game next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website and then select the right product type for me it's g for now select the right series now in my case it's 30 series notebook so make sure that you select your series over here and then select your graphic card make sure that you select your graphic card over here and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and this will be game ready driver now click on search 
latest one is 552.44 right now so click on download and then click on download once again and let the download complete once the download is complete you can run this exe file now once you run the exe file click on ok or yes to allow and then click on agree and continue and then select custom over here and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete after the installation restart your computer after the system restart you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in window search box and then click on graphic settings now click on browse over here and then go to the game installation folder so open the game folder open program files and then open, open epic games open the game folder open this game folder now select this exe file now click on add once the game is added over here now click on options select high performance now click on save now launch the game next step is to verify the game files now to verify the game files you can go to the game title here you can see three dots click on the three dots and then go to manage and verify you can even verify it from the launcher you can launch the game and then you can over here you can see this repair icon so you can click on it and then you can confirm are you sure you want to repair the game client if you confirm you will scan the game directory and fix its content it might take a while so you can click on confirm and once that is complete now you can launch the game you can even uh, verify the game files on epic games launcher now for this on the game title here you can see three dots click on it now click on manage and then click on verify after the verification you can launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case it's 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte i have 16 gigabyte of ram so 16 into 1024 i have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total ram so total ram is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 4915152 One now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this 
Now the next step is to unplug all the external devices from the computer which you are not using. So if you have any external devices which you are not using, disconnect it. Also disconnect additional controller con connected to the computer. Disconnect multiple monitor. Try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any third party application or services running, close it from the task manager. Now disable overlay or you can close all the overlay applications. So if you have discord running, you can close it or you can turn off overlay in discord. If you have GeForce experience running, you can turn off the overlay in GeForce experience or you can close GeForce experience and then launch the game. Also close all the overclocking application. So if you have MSI Afterburner, Reva Tuner or any kind of overclocking application, you can close it and then launch the game. To perform clean boot, type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration. Go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services and then click on disable all. In my case, this option is grayed out. I already did it. In your case, this would be highlighted. So make sure you put a check on hide all Microsoft services first and then click on disable all and then click on apply, click on OK. You will see a restart option, restart your computer and then launch the game. Also, if you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Next step is to install Visual C++ file. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Over here, you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19 and 22. You have to download and install x86 file and x64 file. So click on x86 and then run this exe file. Click on it. Now if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see install option, click on install. Click on yes to allow. Now run, download this x64 file as well. Now run this x64. Now again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. Click on yes to allow and let the installation complete. Now once both the installation are complete, once, once both are complete, you will see a restart option. Restart your computer and then launch the game. Now the next step is to update your windows to the latest version, which we have already done. Now update your BIOS, you can go to your system manufacturer website. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell. If you have Lenovo, go to Lenovo. If you have Asus, go to Asus website. So go to your system manufacturer website and then select your model number, select your computer and then install the latest BIOS. Now, in case of laptop, when you update the system BIOS, make sure battery on your computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter, the charger is connected to the computer. During the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS after the BIOS update, log into the computer and then you can launch the game. Now the next step is to, the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game. So if nothing is working, you can uninstall the game. And after you uninstall the game, go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder and then restart your computer and reinstall the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive or any external drive, you can try to reinstall the game to C drive and then check. Now, if the game is already installed in C drive, in that case, you can try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.